Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Paul! Yay! Welcome back, Yay. Paul! Yay! Paul's here! After one year. Yeah. Yep. Next lunar week. New Year. He taught us Lunar New Year. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we were just looking, and you were our second guest. Yes, last year, back yeah. by popular demand. Wow, Steve will be happy that you said that because he said that a couple I times. Know. He goes, "Make sure you guys say that." <laughs> <laughs> so how's it going? It's going good. You still work in retail? Mm-hmm. Sick. <laughs> sorry to hear that. Sick. <laughs> so sorry to. Are hear Are you going that. to school or anything too? Uh, not at the moment. No. So, so but... last time I talked to you, you had like over thirty hours. Are they still working you? A lot. I'm up to 40 hours now. Ooh, oh, good. Like five days a week, eight hour shifts, you know. So I saw that nice car you were driving out there, so. It's my mom's hand oh. me down. <laughs> <laughs> hand me hey, down. It's still a nice <laughs> car. What is mom driving now? Um, she got a, a Jeep um, something. Oh, very like nice. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Good for her. Fancy. She, we I fancy know. over here. I know. She's mm-hmm. always fancy. Mm-hmm. Um, so what was I going to ask you? Oh, yeah. Do you still have to count people coming in the store? No, that <laughs> that ended summer of 2020, I think. Thank we, God. We huh? stopped doing that. And, yeah. Really? Okay. All Thank right. God. That's good. So are there any new rules or anything? Because you're still in produce, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. First of all, uh, do they consider you a full-time employee now, like insurance and all that? Or they're just saying you're working 40 most weeks? You know how they do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh I'm, I got to check that. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's telling me to, uh, to get on that. I, <laughs> um, because you're union, correct? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. Where he's so at. Mm-hmm. I think their rules are a little tougher than mm-hmm. non-union places. So mm-hmm. okay, hopefully so they've got, changed right. your status. Different rules there. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Though. I th- yeah. I think they might have because I recently um, noticed I think my checks are a little bit more than they good. were before. So. Yeah. That's that's great. Well, maybe you got a raise. I yeah. think I might have. Yeah. Uh, good, good. Nobody told you. How they many years have it. you been there? Yeah. Probably got an email. <laughs> I, don't th- I don't know if they even have my information. <laughs> um, it's probably been about two and a half years total that I've been there. Yeah. Wow. Because I took a few months break to go to college and then I came back. So. Right. Yeah. And it's been a year since then. So. Yeah. Wow. Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because the last time we had you on, you were just getting back to it again. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I heard a rumor that February 28th for Chicago, the mask mandates and vaccine mandates are, are lifted. lifted. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so we got, well, we're recording on the 23rd. Yeah. So we have for after the weekend basically yeah. is what they're, hopefully they'll, they'll say something. That'll be nice. Thank goodness. So I noticed in our area when I go shopping, it's half and half now. I still wear a mask. Yeah. Um, just because I don't know. It's almost like wearing a seatbelt to me okay. now. I feel like I'm naked if I don't. Somebody said it and I thought it was the best way to say it is like wearing a mask is letting people know you're not an asshole. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not an asshole then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. like during this whole thing, there would be people like walk around like just waiting for somebody to say something to them. Yeah. You know, like, please say something to me that I'm not wearing a mask. It's <laughs> You're infringing my freedom. <laughs> oh, we for sure never had that. We for sure had some shouting matches at the beginning. Did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. People yeah. were. It's calmed down now. No one does right. it, but nobody cares anymore. It was high tensions. Like, yeah. When I Speaking first of started. shouting yeah. matches, listen to what I just. I went grocery shopping last night. First of all, I spent almost four hundred dollars. What? I got home and Steve was like, oh, h- "How much did you spend?" And so You're I. You're like, "What do you care? It's my money." I feel like I shopped <laughs> my normal shop that I would do. I do a big shop oh, once a month, yeah. and it was a hundred dollars more. Yeah. But then again, I was kind of looking back. I'm like, all right, maybe I did get some vitamins. Steven's protein shake yeah. and his protein bars. They weren't on sale. A couple extra things. So a couple yeah. extra. So I, I was trying like to weigh out the... Inflation. Yeah. Is it inflation? Yeah. Did I just not shop smart? Did I... You know, I don't I call it a lot inflation. I call it coupons. emotional damage. Emotional <laughs> damage. Every time I get my, my bill, you know? It's, yeah. What uh. the hell? So I was just talking to Johnny because I saw a really cool recipe for chicken legs and I was like, remember a couple of years ago, we would get a big family pack of yep. chicken legs, yep. 49 cents a pound. Yep. Mm. They're like on sale for a dollar 49 yep. a pound now. Chicken's That's, definitely yeah. a lot higher. Crazy. I'm going to go back real quick. <laughs> um, 
Speak. I said, speaking of uh, yelling. Mm-hmm. So I went shopping last night. Yes. Or was it two nights ago? Actually, it was two nights ago. Sorry. Anyways, not that it, it matters, Anyways. but I guess my point is it was a Monday. It's always mellow. Yeah. Mondays and Tuesdays, right? You really don't hear any drama. No one's yelling. You know, mm-hmm. produce is pretty I always said all like the cute single guys would shop on Monday night. And I'm getting out of my, <laughs> oh, next time I'm going to have to look now. <laughs> Steve will be like, can I go with you? I'll be like, it's Monday. No, no, no you can't go no, with me. you cannot. <laughs> You gotta check out butts. You know what? You come to think of it. <laughs> See? There were a lot, not not saying good looking, but because uh, I can't tell with the mask on, but there were a lot of single, well, not single men. I should just say <laughs> single people there. Yes. There were actually, and I'm I was one excited. of them. I was by myself. That's why I'm excited for the masks to go away so you don't get mask fished. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. That's what I do to people. Like oh they'll say, why don't you smile God. more? And I'll be like this. Yeah. And they'll be like, no, wait, put the mask back on. So I just cover everything. Get out. <laughs> Anyways, who'd you yell at? Back at to my store? yelling. <laughs> who'd you yell at? We always take left turns here. <laughs> I didn't yell at anybody. I was just casually getting out of my car. I had my list. The kids had sent me everything that they wanted. I was like, you know, kind of zenning the grocery shop, just feeling, you know, and all of a sudden I hear someone laying on their horn and it was so loud that I looked over. I thought maybe they were joking around like to me, yeah. right? But it had nothing to do with me. I look over, there's a woman that, so in the parking lot, they have all these like, you know, spots that you go onto the main road. You know how that is? Okay, okay. So like you have the parking lot and then it's like, you can turn here and then here to get to the light. Right. You know what I'm talking right. about by the gas station right. there? Mm-hmm. Or you know how that is. So this person, she was kind of like off to the side where you could tell that she wasn't ready to turn. Easily could go around. There was no cars anywhere because I parked like way over in the front of the store. I hate people. Yeah, so, you know, so this Jeep, comes up acting like she's getting ready to take a right or a left, you know, and she's not even like in where she should have to be laying on the horn. You, you know what? I'm telling you, I was so proud of her. She jumped out of her car faster than I've ever seen anyone. <laughs> and that Jeep threw it in reverse oh my and God. went all the way around. You know, and she was like, what's up, motherfucker? Like she yeah. was like, it was like. If more people were like that. <laughs> I was like, yes. I just like looked at her. I'm smiling. I'm like, yes. I was so excited for her. It was crazy. We just got to start yelling at the It was absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. And I I don't know who was in the Jeep or anything like that, but they like laid on that horn for so long that I thought that was a joke, like, you know, or whatever it was. But I mean, that door like whipped open. I did that once before too. Did you? Mm -hmm. And I don't do it anymore. I just give them dirty looks. Shot or like ran over, but oh man, they whipped that jeep around so fast i was so happy i'm like teach these people like yeah s- stop laying on the horns unfortunately they'll just keep doing it they will but mm. i think they got a little like i don't there's know there's no courtesy tap anymore beep yeah i you know you what? just straight I, lay into the horn i don't know about you paul but i don't i don't even do it anymore because i don't know if it's every just once in a while I'll from all beep. the crime podcasts yeah. i listen to and all yeah. the stuff that happens yeah. and then the one guy that's even local here he was driving in his jeep and he yes. pulled his gun out on someone remember like that? road rage that was right that. by the brat house too oh richmond brat house if you want some action <laughs> go hang out there somebody might pull a gun on somebody yeah I and mean, i've heard he's done that a couple times i'm like i don't beep anymore really he's done it a couple times i didn't know yes that. i read a but whole this, article okay, on this it. dumbass okay he posted his dash cam to Facebook like he thought he was in the right. Oh. It showed his speed. Yes. The speed Ugh. through Richmond is like 30 miles if an that, hour. Yes. He was doing like 57 miles an hour <laughs> honking at people. Kind of like how you fucking drive. Fucking freaking oh, yeah. out. You don't drive like that, do you? I'm pretty non-aggressive. Driving. Yeah. Um, you were in a pretty bad accident, right? A couple years ago? Oh, yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. It wasn't... No one got hurt. That's but good. Definitely... Yeah. It was, um, I was driving down a road. It was, I think it was a two lane. I was in the left and I just spaced out for a second. Oh, uh, yep. Right through a red. Oh, and, oh my God. Damn. I watched that happen today. Oh, yeah. Our light turned green mm-hmm. and it's, you can either only go left or right at this light, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this Mercedes SUV comes just blowing through the red light and the people were turning and what an idiot. Mm. I say what an idiot. You're an idiot. That's why your car's a piece of shit, you stupid idiot, like 12 times a day, Mm -hmm. at least. I think I was working with 
rock star a couple years ago yeah. and we were up in Wisconsin and we're talking and getting ready yeah. to go to the next store and I'm watching my map of where we're going and I think he said something like you're gonna want to stop here and I looked up and there was the red oh light oh my god you know like it was either with Drew or Rockstar I was just oh like god. slamming on the brakes and a truck saw me like they were over on the other side waiting to go and was watching me like she's gonna go through this red light <laughs> and then I like stopped quick I'm like oh my god sorry That's and then he started driver. going in Houston I was just, just in recently? Houston yeah, mm -hmm. and I was getting so angry because I was the driver for our group. Why would you volunteer to do that? They put it in my name, the car. It's totally fine. Like no, I, I wanted a Mercedes, I, no. so they put it in my car. No, I did. They didn't give me a Mercedes. Oh, I'm just kidding. I was like, I did not get a Snapchat of you in a Mercedes. I'm upset. I went to the, the rental place and he was like, and here's your Mercedes Kia Soul. <laughs> It was excellent. Actually, those cars are pretty cute. Whoever drives Stop one of those, it. they're Don't. cute. There's a lot of room. Don't. I'm not getting, I'm not. No. <laughs> Although I do like the Jeeps that I always get. Anyways, so in Houston, and you know, like anyone from There's Houston no can correct limit, me. Right. Well, so I was getting angry because we would sit at a red light and, and when it turned green, no one would go. And so I would like pretend to tap on my horn. I'm like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> what I didn't realize is cross- people oh, they don't stop they don't stop like if they're mm -hmm. like if they've decided that they're going to go through the red light yeah. even if it's turning yeah. they keep going so i was like ah after like the fifth or sixth intersection yeah. and no one would go right away and i would see people go poof, 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 like texas is like lawless out there I'd, well i don't know there was a it's lot of police wild, officers wild west over there. It, <laughs> it seemed like it it seemed like it I but, mean, people do it in the city too. Yeah, so I don't learned care. quick. I learned quick. I watched a guy today. I, we're in one lane each way. There is a left-hand turn lane and a left-hand turn lane. This guy comes from a long line of traffic, and I'm like, oh, okay, he's turning left. Nope, light turned green, and he just cut everybody off and went in front. <laughs> if I did that, straight to jail. <laughs> It'd be straight to jail. Oh, yeah. You know? I would have definitely you, get caught. Have you ever caught. gotten caught speeding or anything? I haven't been pulled over. My only ticket was for the negligent, you know. Oh, the accident, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and that was just... Were you drinking and doing drugs during that time? <laughs> yeah. His mom's going to watch and listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> On the record, no. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I get halfway home and I'm like, holy shit, I don't even remember driving <gasps> all that way. That it's happens terrible. to me, too. You're an autopilot, Ooh, especially like when you take the same route. Oh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. It's that, terrible. That used to happen to me a lot. Yeah, it was just like a... I don't know, like a, a 30 second, like I wasn't on my phone. My girlfriend was in the car, but yeah. you know, we weren't even really talking like you were fighting. Other. No. Oh no. my gosh. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> we weren't like talking to each other, distracted. I just forgot, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I it's easy to do. Absolutely. It's totally easy to do. Haven't done it since. So yeah. Yeah. especially if you're tired, like tired is almost worse scary, than drunk driving. Scary lesson. Might have been it, maybe, but yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was just, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you T-bone somebody? I think, yeah, our, our front of our cars just collided. Okay. I went into the, like, the ditch. And okay. Was, yeah, so they were was, coming across and yeah. you went through the mm -hmm. red yeah. 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 Speaking of cars in the ditch, I saw a lot this morning, and it wasn't even icy on my side of the road, so... Mm. that makes you feel any better yeah <laughs> yeah yesterday was strange it was very oh, it was very like rainy and icy it was my sister bad, yeah. texted yeah. me and she's like how's the roads and i'm like it's fine it's 40 degrees outside i was all the way out by the city oh yeah hmm. as i came home i watched my temperature drop yeah 37 33 28 and i was like <laughs> Why is everything covered in ice? ice. <laughs> like prisms. Yeah. So fun I don't fact. Remember taking those shrooms. Two twenty-two, nineteen twenty-two. They had a huge ice storm. Oh really? Weird, huh? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it was a Tuesday also. Yeah, we'll have to look uh -huh. that up. Yeah. Two twenty-two, nineteen twenty-two. Wow. Huge okay. ice storm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So speaking of weird things, mm -hmm. have you ever been to Home Depot? Um, I don't think that's weird, but okay. <laughs> Not in a, I haven't been in a while. That's kind of like the hardware, hardware. Yeah. Store stuff. Yeah. I mean, I've gone with my grandpa a few times. But yeah. Have you ever been to Home Depot? Of course I have. Do you ever just watch people? And how I no watch one people knows, everywhere. <laughs> no one knows where they're going in that store. No. Mm. I was one of them on Sunday. So I usually go well, with Steve. Well, you're like, okay, plumbing. And then it's like. Nothing that you're looking for. I'll tell you exactly for. what I was looking for. So my handle on my toilet broke. 
Okay. So I needed to f- get the, you know. The new kit. So Steve was yeah. nice enough on Saturday and grabbed me one, but it was the wrong one because my handle, it's an older toilet. My handle's on the left. Oh. It's not in the front, like how okay. all, you okay. know, toilets are now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I'll go back. So I needed to get a handle on the left, which they don't really make anymore. You have to get one that's adjustable. So I go and I'm seeing toilet seat covers and I'm like, oh, this has got to be, I've got to be close. Got to be in the but right then, area. But I started off in plumbing, but it was all pipes. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you could get any kind of and pipes and fittings and pipes anything and... you can think of. I'm like, okay, yeah. it's not here. Went and saw the toilet covers, then went and saw the accessories. So I was like, oh yeah, maybe I can, you know, but then I stayed focused. And you started buying other shit. Yeah, yeah. I tried to stay focused, but I needed like a caddy for my shower and I needed, yeah. you know, like maybe a new paint. I, somehow there was like paintings and like, <laughs> there was like a box full of like, whatever you call like paint. I don't know, whatever. Artwork. <laughs> sitting Artwork. In the middle of the- <laughs> then all of a sudden I'm in like lumber and I'm like, oh. Okay, I could make one out of wood, but <laughs> Actually, like an yeah, outhouse. I think I I know what you're talking about now. Just because like <laughs> you go down an aisle, you see a bunch of pre-built like house stuff. Yeah. Then you go down the doors and stuff. Yeah. And I want to go open them and. Oh test yeah, them. it's like nice, nice <laughs> pre-made like bathrooms, and yeah. then like you go oh, yeah. and you find all the Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Exactly. We just kind of <laughs> you get me. Mm-hmm. So I finally and I was so stubborn. I hate asking, but I love asking. I go, oh, I hate it. I, I don't know seek why. People to ask. I hate asking. So I walk <laughs> past these two. It's a customer and a person working there, and I hear him page someone. So I knew he was standing there waiting for a call. So I'm like. Oh, just bother him. And I'm like, well, he's with a customer. Maybe, you know what I mean? So I walk past them. I kind of scope it out. I'm like, might be a good time to ask, you know, whatever. And I and you give him those going. eyes. Well, I was hoping he would be like, can I help you with something? But he didn't. No. He held the phone like. They'll never waiting offer. For, you know, <laughs> They'll, just standing oh, they there. They avoid eye contact. <laughs> they did. Even the customer looked at me. I probably should have just asked the customer. <laughs> so I started walking. I'm like, nah, forget this. Cause, but then I started going and I'm seeing windows. I'm like, I am not even close. <laughs> so I turned it around because I didn't hear his phone ring. And I said, I know you're waiting for a phone call. And he was like, okay. And he kind of gave me a look. I go, where are these? And he was like, they're aisle seven down the middle. I'm like, all right. I was like five aisles from that. Like how, how do you did have- you get so far? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So it I was like never thought of you it. went down toilet accessory aisles and went this right. way when you should have went this exactly. way. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I went right instead of left. I got gotcha. you. Which for me, I always tell people I have a 50-50 chance. I yeah. always pick the wrong one. Yeah. Now I'm going to talk about registers. Mm-hmm. You saw my snap hey, by on the Monday. Way, hold on. By the way, before you move on. Yeah. Because you got that wonky toilet handle. Yeah. You know, you can get the one that you wave over and it just flushes. Neighbor Eric has that. Tell Steve about that. Yeah. Eric's coming over anyways to I fix know. my shower. I he know. can bring me one of those. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, by the way, Eric, can you bring me a toilet? <laughs> Just bring the whole toilet. <laughs> Just bring a whole bathroom, please, it's and redo like my bathroom. He put it in his toilet. It's a it's a accessor accessory you buy for the toilet. <laughs> and a sensor goes right under your lid. So you just wave your hand over the sensor so you don't even have to touch what dirty if I, toilet handles. What if I have like a little something that I put on my, I put it on the back of my toilet and it's a cute little like spray for when you poop and then like Kleenex <laughs> and then sometimes there's a flower, right? Mm-hmm. You know, grandma yeah. decorates nice. Oh yeah, grandma yeah. has all the... She wouldn't be able to wave over her cute but little what, stuff. you have like a carpet on it or what? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not the 70s. <laughs> I took that off when Steve went to go paint this past weekend. <laughs> so you just have some stuff? Yeah. Do you have a tray or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a, a metal tray. A tray might black So it. my yeah. my toilet would just constantly flush then because it'll no. be like, oh, oh, wow, this person goes to the bathroom a lot. Okay, let's go again. No. I'll be on a call at work. I'll be hearing it, right? You know what? I wonder if he couldn't put it on the side. Mm. So you just I, wave I on the side where you You know what? I have a better anyways. idea. I just need to fix my shower. <laughs> Forget the whole toilet thing. (laughs) Okay. Home Depot, aisle seven, if you need a little handle. So what about the registers? Oh, yeah. So (laughs) I'm going back to my grocery shopping Mm -hmm. on Monday. And unfortunately, as we all know, labor shortages. Plus, I was there on a Monday. But everyone else decided to be there on a Monday because everyone else knew that there was a storm coming. Uh, I did not. So I'm six six or seven people deep. In aisle one or yeah. register one, you yeah. know, so I'm like, crap. So I even Snapchat you guys. I'm like, awesome. Yes. All tired. Yeah. So fortunately the cash, um, the cashier was amazing. She was yeah. fast and you know, was fine. But there was a person behind me. 
So let's just say she was like probably eight or nine deep then. She was behind me. She took her cart, went all the way around to the service desk and said, open some stuff up, right? Walked all the way back, stood in front of all the people in front of me. And when they opened, she went. What the shit? She was first in the open lane. It's all about me. (laughs) I have to be first. I've been waiting the longest. I fucking hate people. And I remember when I worked there, I would open up because, you know, like if we were managing, they would call like right. you know, departments to the front to right. help out on the register. Yes. Okay, and yeah. so I would actually say next in line, next not last in line. In line. Like yeah. I would actually make it a note to say or I, I would point. People. I would I'd be point. like, uh, no, I'm sorry, but they are next. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then you can freaking go. So that that cashier needed to know not to do that. Like, I don't care if you went all the way around and said something. You were still so the ninth person. My question People is. People might disagree with me, but I don't. When she walked up to the service desk, was there more than one person up mm-mm, at the service mm-mm, desk? No. Mm-mm. No. Okay. Because that would have pissed it me off, It was definitely too. nobody's fault that all yeah. of us decided to shop on a Monday. Right. There was two... Lanes open. There was someone at the at Self each, check. yeah, and yeah. there was only one person. Yeah. Now, how many people were in the office? I don't know. Yeah, but no. see, that's me when I was store director in charge and at the service desk and running a lane and doing overrides. Yeah, definitely didn't get paid enough at that job. No, no. no. But I got my job now. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I celebrated one year yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I know. I know. Yay. Yay. Yes, it's good. I tell my you boss never, every day, please don't fire me. I love it here. Like your first week, you're like, I'm, I'm, I will never no, survive. No, my first six months, yeah. I was like, these people are too smart, too good. I don't belong here. And then, you know what? Today I had my meeting. I'm like, this is how it's going. This She's is like, what's happening. She's like, they hate me. I'm like, they haven't even met you. Yeah, they don't even know you. <laughs> it's so hard to work remote. It is. I feel for all the people that started a job I don't last know how year you in 2020. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're, I say you are doing very well yeah. handling it because you're not one to sit at a desk all day. Yeah. So, but I really enjoyed um, going to Houston with two of my coworkers. Yeah. That was really nice because then I could, I was, was with them, you know, yeah. we weren't like just talking over yeah. a computer, you know, it was nice. It was good. So yeah, yeah that's good. All mm-hmm. right. Well, anyways, you're here to chat. So yeah. we're going to leave it to you now. All right. You got any good Karen <laughs> stories for us? I love those. I think I, I might have mentioned it last time, but in the hours I work, I've been working 12 to 8 p.m. Yeah. Mm. We used to close at 9, but they wanted me to, you know, come in an hour earlier to help out. Cause yeah. Of, you know, all the shortages. Of right. Everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think still in that time frame, like past maybe three or four o'clock, it's people aren't usually too, you know, too bad about they're not. It's early morning old people is what you're saying are the Karens? That's, I believe so. That's, that's the, um. Damn it, boomers. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the area we live in because, that I live in. Cause, yeah. Because, um, there's kind of, I think there's a, a home kind of. Okay. Down oh, the road. Like okay. an assisted living place. Yeah. yeah. And I think they take a bus oh, to the okay. store oh, every God, so often. Oh God, they come by the bus load. <laughs> yeah. It's my worst nightmare. So I'm guessing from like six to noon, it's probably horrible. Yeah. But I come in at noon, so it's yeah, not, not cool. too bad. Good. Um, so you don't have to announce like the bus is here or like over the pager, <laughs> like they're here. Attention everybody. The boomers have arrived. <laughs> Get ready. <The> bu- <laughs> you better the have plenty of muffins up. out there. The bus is pulling up. Uh, I mean, I've had, I've had a few people that just like one lady, uh, at one point we were out of like, celery i think it was yeah oh my god why god would you forbid. be out of celery? i don't god know forbid. why would you do that to her <laughs> occasionally we're just out of something for no reason all the time <laughs> all now the- yeah <laughs> we're so used to it mm-hmm. we just adapt and so instead of the fresh you know bunch of it we had just like packaged of organic or like stalks oh yeah, yeah. And she already like, cut up and stuff yeah. yeah and she she came up to me she's like oh you know, she asked if we had it. I said, no, we don't anymore. And she said, okay, so I have to pay an extra dollar and a half <laughs> for uh, for salary because you don't have it. And she said, can you do something about this? And you're like, little old me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty low on the totem yeah. in my department. <laughs> Let me get you a manager. <laughs> well, I'm, I might be in the wrong for this, but there was no, we didn't have a manager in the department. Yeah. I said, I'm not a manager. I can't do anything about it. 
and she walked away. I mean, if she had asked <laughs> yeah. me to get someone, I would have gone. So right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh no, she just went and yelled at the cashier <laughs> she instead. <did>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what she probably did is go up to the cash the cashier and said, "Paul in produce yeah. <laughs> said to take two bucks off of this for my frustrations." <laughs> I would. That's they probably I would do. They would have believed it too. That, right? Yeah. You tell them someone told you then. They For sure. Really oh, that's funny. Reason. When I used to work in grocery or mm. in the bakery, the, the cashiers would call me often and say, hey, am I supposed to be taking five bucks off of this? I'm like, said who? They're like, they said you did. Oh, my God. I'm like, God. I showed them where the beans were. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Like, they just saw my name, and then they mm. went up to the front and said, well, she said that to take I've five bucks. I've never thought to do that. And then now that I've worked retail, it's like I could so easily get away with yeah. that, you know? Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe where you work, they probably would make sure it was legit. Well, where we worked, we had a $5. I know I've talked we about did. this. We did. But go ahead. Tell we it had, again. We had it's a been a while. We had a $5, like whatever you want to call it, leniency. If the price change was under $5, they would tell you, don't bother calling anybody. Don't bother doing Just a price check. It. Just mm-hmm. change the damn price, yeah. you know? Keep that, keep it flowing. Yeah. Keep it going. That's After $5, we were, yeah. then you got to yeah. call somebody and confirm. But yeah. And I was the type of person... I hated bothering like our head cashier because she was running around all the time. Yeah. So I would do whatever I could to not have to have her come Mm -hmm. over and override or okay something or whatever. Yeah. I was like, 99 cents, no problem. Done. Have a great day. That's probably why I always had a really long line. (laughs) Everyone knew they could get away with it with me. Mm -hmm. I kind of, what you said about feeling bad about like bothering other people. I feel about like that. Um, about the people who cut up fruit and stuff right. in our department because they're always working on something. They have a list of exactly what they need. Right. But then the store director will come by and say, hey, tell uh, tell so-and-so that we need more asparagus oh, over here. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> You're like, they're working on fruit cups right now. You'll just have to wait. Yeah. Oh. And then the- Why would he have you go tell them when he could go walk to the back cutting room and say, we need more asparagus? He is very important, Meredith. <laughs> He has other things Very to do. Very important things to do. Not worried about asparagus. Very important. <laughs> oh my God. The, uh, the lady. Or better yet, why doesn't he get his ass back there and do it? And I mean, very important. You know what? <laughs> tell him that next time. <laughs> I was on this podcast. They told me to tell you, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go do it yourself. <laughs> Next time he's on, he'll be like, well, now I'm only working 10 hours a week. <laughs> Lost my job, guys. Overnights. Now I'm Sorry. working overnights. <laughs> I mean, I probably would work overnight. Would you? Could Wouldn't you handle I? that? Are you like yeah. a vampire? Isn't that vampires? Or what? who yeah. works overnights? Yeah. 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 I stay up till 3 a.m. constantly. Good Lord. So, so the <laughs> noon start young. is not too bad for you then, right? Yeah. So when I you're mean, going to bed, I'm getting up for work. Probably. Yeah. 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 And it's not like I w- usually want to stay up that late. I always have like an idea, like I'm gonna wake up at like ten thirty, make myself a nice breakfast, and like, you know, you know, be productive yeah. <laughs> before I go to work. <laughs> and then I, I wake up as like uh, I'll get up at eleven, and then I have to go right to work after oh, I get up. Oh gosh! So it's like, I thought you were gonna say eleven fifty eight. You're walking out the door. <laughs> Still wiping the sleep from your eyes and the toothpaste from your mouth. And you live close from the store, right? You live close. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. So, it's not so he can really he could really yeah. push that. Yeah. It could yeah. be like eleven forty, you'd still be on time. Yeah. I yeah, I could. I usually try to be there. Oh, you know what? That's actually when I leave at eleven forty. Eleven forty. Just is when to give that extra yeah. ten mm-hmm. minutes in case you get hit by a train or yeah. stuck by a train. Or Do you, you still have light? that train that goes by? Yeah, or you run a red light, <laughs> yeah. end up in the ditch. <laughs> give the cops some time to you know write the ticket out. <laughs> I'll be about like five minutes late. It's not too bad. <laughs> I usually just sit in my car for like a few minutes just yeah. to chill out before. You know, yeah. just have to get ready. I yeah. think we've all done Prepare that. Prepare yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, there has been times, like even just a couple of years ago, I would sit in my car and actually text a couple other people and be like, I don't want to go in. I know. I, do I it don't want to go in. That's, every, that's my morning Snapchat every day. Like, I don't want to. There was a team member <laughs> up in Wisconsin and we would send each other pictures like, I'm in my car. It'd be like our steering wheel. I'd be like, you can do this. He's like, I don't know if I really want to go. We would do that to each other at least once a week. It'd be so easy to just turn it back on. Oh, oh it's God. so easy. You don't know how many times I've almost done that. <laughs> One of us has got to hit the lottery so One that we, we don't have to uh, go to work anymore. How about all of us at the lotto? <laughs> Although I love my job. I mean, I think I love it. I know it's weird. 
I'm like, okay I, this with is my the- job, but I wouldn't say I love it. Well, yeah. I'm not like, oh my God, I can't wait to go to work tomorrow. It's so exciting. <laughs> well, no. I don't say that. Fuck that. This is the first job that Sunday rolls around and I don't have a stomach ache. I know a lot of people can relate. Mm-hmm. Sundays, like yeah. Monday through Friday work. Right. I mean, obviously right. people that like, after they have their two days off, let's say they have Thursday, Friday off, they have to go work the weekends. Right. On Friday night, they're just like, Ugh, Ugh. I got to start another 10-day yeah. stretch or whatever, Ugh. which would give anybody a stomach ache, yeah. right? So I'm not saying that. Yeah. But it is the first job where, like... I- I'm I'm not nervous about going. I'm just I'm just ready for like okay. What do I have to do tomorrow? It's right. not like that. It's just like it's. That I don't kind even of understand thought. your job. It's too corporatey for me. Oh, stop it. <laughs> just one of them. Do you have? Oh my god. Do you have corporate visit often at your store? Because um, you're kind of up up north, right? Uh yeah, basically right on the Wisconsin border. Yeah basically. yeah. Um, I think okay. So we've had a a lot of changes in the past year that I you oh. know, since I've been there. So I'll kind of I'll kind of run down what's happened. Like so, we started with getting a new district manager. Oh, the old one, from what my one of my managers told me was like ineffective and like they just wanted to get rid of him. So yeah. this new guy's oh. kind of which more, is kind of hard to do. I'm surprised mm-hmm. they usually mm-hmm. like hang on to them and just keep transferring them until they quit. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember what exactly happened, but this new guy is more <clears throat> like uh. Focused, he's real focused on, you know, getting the most profit and like, mm. you know. That's their job. Which is fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not criticizing that really. Yeah. Um, I actually, I talked to him one time, like he came over, it was kind of intimidating because he's got this real, like, he's got a thick Italian accent. He's oh. like, he's a nice guy. He's just. This is the new one. We yeah. like oh. accents. He's just really focused on, you know, getting everything perfect. Or as perfect as you Do you know, is he new to the company or is he just new to your district? I don't know. Because I I found that makes a huge difference. Yeah. If they're new to the company, oh, they need to make a name for themselves. They need to. That might be what it is. Because he's, Mm. he, okay, so he implemented this new thing where we're only allowed to throw out garbage at certain times of the day, specific hours of the day. They're supposed to call and you can come and throw away your garbage, which kind of destroys like my nights because uh it's like i don't have a set schedule when i do things i kind of figure out when i want to do it right um oh you like don't have a routine because it all depends on what's low on stock or what's happening right Mm -hmm. okay and then what if day like what if day shift didn't make it to garbage throw away now you got to throw away all their shit yeah that's how it was that's pretty dumb in the beginning yeah i don't know (laughs) If this should be cut out, but we don't we don't do that. Any, we don't no, that. you just go and throw out the damn garbage when you need to throw out the damn garbage. Yeah. And we only follow that when he's around. So. Why? I don't <laughs> like. I cannot imagine what his his brain is saying. Well, you can only do it at nine, noon, four, and eight. You know, like the uh, why? The reasoning was I don't know if this happened like years ago, but apparently some. Grocery employees, instead of working a pallet, they just threw it all out. <gasps> I don't know if that's like a just a local legend or something. No, but I'm pretty sure that that's happened. I've heard that before. But that's crazy. Yes, but that's the reason you need a manager with oh, you. Oh yeah, according to the I that's like the that. hole in yeah. the wall. Well, yeah. we yeah. always yeah. had to have a manager there when it was yes, open. That's what they would mm. call to make sure nobody's crawling in there. Nobody's oh, throwing okay. shit away they shouldn't. Mm. But I yeah, mean, we would call it twelve times a day if it needed to happen. I remember you know? a story where, like, so ours would always get stuck, right? Because always. the shoot was really long. You had this real okay. big fucking you know? long stick. You had to, and you did. You had like a metal stick and yeah. one time they couldn't get something all the way at the bottom so they had someone that was petite they Stop. were holding on to his feet no. and he was down in <gasps> the thing and then that was it they were like nope no way everybody no way. got fired uh i don't know about should that should have been fired on the spot they says right on it been. do not climb in yeah yeah, yeah that's <laughs> That's I mean, they tossed me and they held my feet. But uh, <laughs> it was all safe. Yeah. But oh after that, God. I'm fairly certain that's why a manager always has to be. I would just keep crushing it until it finally broke and fell down or whatever. I would, every time I'd work back there, I would run past and hit the button. Just yeah. let it keep like yes. running, running, running. Mm. Right. Because we had a, so to explain to people, we had a huge long chute mm. that went down into a dumpster and it would push everything and cram it into the dumpster. But the right? chute wouldn't have a pusher. It would. The pressure right. is a little bit later right. on. Yes. You know, to crush it in. Yes. I think, so 
I think for us, it's it's not as long as that. So you kind of throw yeah. it in. It it'll get stuck on the ramp if there's too much in the dumpster right. that hasn't been crushed. But ours was yeah. long. It was long. Yeah, because I've been to so many Why other was stores. It, so long? That it was it's like not. we were on the freaking second floor. It was a ground floor building. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? It is long though because I I've been to so many other stores where yeah. they like will open it for me if I have like old signs right. or whatever. And, and it's and right there. short. It's like <laughs> yeah, you're just like throw it yeah. in. Yeah. So That's I don't know. Crazy. I know. And it's just. It's just tough for like, because grocery managers have their own thing going on at the night, yeah. and I just have to throw it away real quick. Right, I, and, I, and a bunch of people just leave their trash in front of the. Whole I hate that. Yeah. So yeah. I'm the one who kind of does it. Just and be like fruit juice leaking everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Or like Ugh. Starbucks like on the ground. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, there's a Starbucks at your store. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll have to come visit. <laughs> it's always. <laughs> 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 it's always busy. There's only like two people there. It's really, oh, yeah, gosh. They're, they're having a tough time. But I uh, bet. Aren't we all? Sports. Yeah, everybody is. Mm-hmm. Um, garbage juice. Ew, remember in the summer, the garbage juice? It would leak out of the big oh, compactor. Yeah. You oh, drive past smell. and be like, it what is smell. that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ew, it's a whole Because it would, you know, compact juice. all the garbage, so oh, then all yeah. the juice would Stop, be like, so yeah. Bleh. Especially when we have like... Um, Fresh squeeze that never got yes. sold, so it's like uh, yes, gosh. all the bees too. Remember, people would dump milk down the drain, and then mm. you know, because they think they're doing us a favor by dumping it out and then throwing, you know, scanning it out, dumping yeah. it out, and then throwing the empty jugs in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, then the sink was freaking stinking, you know, oh, because they wouldn't mm-hmm. they wouldn't run well, water after they it dumped out. it. Yeah. They would just leave it to sit there and curdle. Yeah. I uh, somehow. Because I did it once, then I was stuck on yeah. washing the sink yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. I don't miss that job. <laughs> <laughs> um, the more we talk about it, I'm like, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, I like where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so um, district manager, new guy, kind of brings in some new um, ideas that he ideas, wants to get done. Ideas, yeah. Mm. And then, so suddenly my manager, my first manager that I ever had, she got transferred to a different store. Um, so that was, and we were getting a new guy um, as our manager. They kind of switched things around. Right. Mostly because she, our, my first manager was just really good. So they wanted to bring her to a different store to clean up right. that store, fix yep. it up. That's what happens. Yeah. That just mm-hmm. happened where I work too. So like I go mm-hmm. to 11 different stores every week yeah. and they like totally like, oh, did and they? like moved all store the Store directors and or, or yeah, just more like grocery store directors. Oh, there was a couple store directors, but mainly managers. And like, mm-hmm. I'd walk into a store and be like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? You know? <laughs> and a couple people got promoted, which I was excited for. Yeah. And, um, at one of the stores and she was really cool. And now she's a meat manager at another store oh. and it's my store still. So I'm like, Oh my God, you got promoted. Yeah. That's you know? awesome. mm-hmm. Yeah. So what kind of changes is she making? Um, it's or is he making both of them? I guess that you were talking about. Oh, like my first manager. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's mostly kind of just cleaning every like making everyone more productive. Like she's real, uh, kind of rigid, and she she knows what needs to be done. Yeah, tells mm. you what you need to do. She's um she's nice, and she you know you can joke with her, but she. Doesn't let that get in the way of like, right. you know, she want what she wants to get done. Yeah, she's done. following plans. You know, that's yeah. what I told mm-hmm. that girl today because I was like, how are you liking it? And she's like, it's very stressful. Mm. <laughs> Which I'm like, I feel like you ran the last yeah. place, yeah. you know. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, it's a new team at a new store and this and that. I said the hardest thing for me was I worked at a store for like six years, seven years, and then I became a manager mm-hmm. at that store Mm -hmm. So it was very hard. I was friends with people on Facebook and, you know, they don't kind of take you seriously because you would always joke around all the time. And I said, the best advice I can give you is don't be their friend. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. The new guy we got in was from a different store that was, I guess, kind of on the lower end of like, they weren't super happy with it, but he came over here. He's, he's a different type of manager. Um, Mm. Than she was. She. He's more like. He's more warm. I guess you yeah. could call it. Um. But he's still. Like, does he give you a hug? And he's like, Paul. Thanks for no. coming in. New. <laughs> oh, nobody's Bring hugging. it in. Yeah. Bring it in. That is HR nightmare. Does he like? Could you could you on your beard? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me help you put your hair you in a ponytail. Was warm. So, did yeah. you guys take a bath? Was it, yeah, was it like warm and fuzzy? Or <laughs> do you take breaks together? Stop it. We're embarrassing <laughs> him. We're not. Poor kid. We're Poor not. Kid. I've known this kid forever. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know. He's not as rigid as she is, right? So it's a little bit more. He's more like friendly. uh, Yeah, and he's more like get it done as you know, as long as you get the essentials done. Mm. I don't care about anything. Yeah, you know, make it look nice, but like just don't uh, don't do more than you can handle. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like those kind of bosses. Not mm -hmm. me. Do what you can. Here's your list. Give Get ninety percent of it done. Yeah. Give me yeah. a list. Yeah. Yeah. Like be happy with ninety percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would never yell at anybody, but no, you wouldn't. We know how I was checking those lists, those check marks. On so the list. Mm-hmm. when you were on the podcast last year, mm-hmm. if you're thinking about like you, I know you mentioned that you had like some reflections from the year. Do you have different roles now that you do, or are you kind of doing the same thing? And how are you feeling about doing the same thing? If you are, um, it's mostly the same. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I could say I, I'm the one they go to to train new guys. Oh, that's excellent. Um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it because I'm just, I'm, I'm just worried. <laughs> They're like, listen, just <laughs> rotate and stack, <laughs> rotate and stack. I'm just worried about <laughs> not, um, presenting the information correctly. Yeah. And it's like, it's like if they do something wrong and they kind of practice it yeah. wrong and the guys you know, earlier in the day, don't correct them, which they probably won't. <laughs> and that's going to come like, back to you. Yeah, it's, it's like a whole employer that everyone complains about. It's like, okay. That's, that's <laughs> well, Paul fault, trained him. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> so when you go to train someone, you're going to be like, listen, I'm going to show you this once. Make me look good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I felt like it did a pretty good job on the last guy. I'm sure you did. Um, Is he still there? Yeah. Oh, good. That you was, did a great job. Good. That yeah. was a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, We've been hiring a lot of like, 16 17 year olds so mm. they can only work a certain amount of okay hours. Can, can is it we, like four hours a day or something ye, like that or? yeah unless, except on weekends that they do eight can i oh, talk about a 16 17 year old this is i'm glad that you brought this up because it mm. reminded me to talk yeah. about this mm-hmm. so i go to the one store the one with the moldy shelves right yep mm-hmm. and i'm looking at the salad wall and i need to reset my section of the salad wall and mm. there's this kid 16, 17, maybe, maybe 18 stock in the salad wall. Okay, cool. You know, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to mess this all up for a minute. I'll put it back, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, okay, cool, cool. And I'm looking and it's like this brand, this brand, my brand, that brand, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of got boxes near the brands. Okay, fine, right. right? Yeah. Like he took them off of the U boat. You know what a U boat is, mm-hmm. and put what's the a U boat for those okay. that are listening? A U boat is like two sides and then just a bottom, and you can With stack, wheels. Yeah, stack They're on boxes. Wheels. They're the worst. And it's like a yeah. balancing. It's like a balancing <laughs> cart. It is because yeah. if you have small boxes and you go over a bump and they all start like yes, mm-hmm. and it's just gonna topple over and it's a nightmare. So he's taking each brand. Okay, but. Like when I take each brand and throw them down, I put them way in front of the door, mm. right up against the cooler. So then you got a stack. You can do, 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 you know, he's like putting them over here, putting them over here, putting them over here, putting them over. And I was like, bro, what are you doing? You know, but I'm like, whatever. I'm not mm. his boss. I don't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So then I go to step back. He had been just breaking his cardboard down and throwing it in a pile on the floor behind me oh no mm-hmm. i almost ate shit which i already ate shit at that store <laughs> oh my god same <laughs> store and i was like just like looked at him i'm like what the fuck you know so i pick up those boxes and i'm like oh he has a stack over here okay well this is like kind of pushed over no customers are gonna trip on it so i clean all this up and i put it on that stack I go back to doing what I'm doing. I go to step back and I trip on his fucking boxes again. <laughs> and I was what? like, dude, who's your safety team leader over here? So dangerous. <laughs> oh my God. It was so annoying. I wanted to yell at him so bad, but I'm like, you're not his boss. Just so don't fall. Are you someone that like when you notice stuff like that, you talk out loud like, hey, I'm going to grab these boxes and no. put them in a cart. I Go ahead it. and keep putting your boxes in that cart I'm as well. I'm the silent starer. Oh, see, I am not. Are you silent? You're silent. Yeah, I'm the silent, silent starer. 
I am not. Like, I will make it known that yeah. this is what I'm doing to improve this situation. Yeah. Follow in my yeah. lead, you know? Like, yeah. I, don't, I can't say anything because then I can't bitch about it, you know? Like, oh, that's true. Then you have nothing to talk about on the yeah. podcast and then we're done. So, yeah, no, just keep Give staying silent. Give him a dirty silent. look. <laughs> Try to make eye contact with him while I'm moving the boxes over, you know? So... Now, you talked about, and I even posted about it today, about stocking potatoes and how long it takes. I want to know. I forgot about the potatoes. What's your. uh, (laughs) You still stocking them potatoes, Paul? Yeah, so I want to know how long does it take now? How long? Stop. Are you you like, are you you a pro? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it depends if. if like half of them have gone bad and oh. stink, and yeah. pull those off, put the new ones on. Ew. Sometimes we we get them on the load. We go to open them up, and they're Ew. already gross. Stop. Like, Where do they come <laughs> from? Um, I don't know. We have a supply, like a supplier. Oh, so they it's probably potatoes sat. from Mexico. No, I'm just joking. That's avocados from Mexico. Yeah, which I think there's a short on them right now. There's not a short on them. They stopped importing. Them. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, Thank you. I knew it was something. So expensive. Call they your are. senator. Because okay. they're like a dollar ninety nine. Oh my gosh, yeah. for little ones, right? A piece. Um, I well, think they're, they're okay the size. But, they're the decent size oh, ones, but, but yeah, still, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I had a guy come in and. He may he may have been Mexican himself, but he's like, why are they so expensive? You hate Mexicans? Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, uh, you're like, bro, I don't uh, make the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go in the back room and see if I, we have any more. I don't even put up the sign. Somebody yeah. in the morning does that. I was real confused because the sale price ended like early. I was like, why did why are they so yeah. expensive now? But yeah, that must. Yeah, be what they it is stopped now. importing them. Which mm. where are we gonna get our avocados from now? I think. There's maybe one or two states that have the correct temperature to like grow avocados mm-hmm. on a large scale like that. Like somebody better be calling Mexico. We need to fix it. Whatever. What do we got to do? Like yeah. I never heard why we stopped importing them. I, you know, I'm gonna Google that right yeah. now because they're a big so, seller for sure. Right. They? Everybody eats avocados. Mm-hmm. You know, speaking of avocados and celery and all that, I have a quiz for you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. And I'm going to say I gave you warning. So I hope that uh, you looked at all your spellings. Um, because Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Uncut jabs. Have you seen that yet? <laughs> Uncut jabs. Okay. So after the U.S. recently put a halt on the import of Mexican avocados because a U.S. official was threatened by organized crime in Michoacan, Mm -hmm. the biggest avocado-producing state in Mexico. Thousands of tons of the fruit have stopped entering the country. Damn it, cartels. Can't you take a break? Mm, Yeah. Darn it. Okay, I'm ready. Can you spell your way through the produce section of a grocery store? Oh, my God. You know what? I was thinking, yeah. Who doesn't know how to spell? It's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. But now I'm thinking, like, oh, it's going to be something weird. (laughs) I mean, good thing my my manager orders the weird stuff all the time. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Maybe this won't be as weird. Maybe this will just be, like, stuff that you always see. I doubt it. And bonus points if you know the code at the register. Oh. All right, you're good at that. I haven't done codes at the register in so long. I used to be so good. So the correct spelling of a green and leafy plant found in the produce section called parsley. How do you spell it? There's a whole bunch of different ones. I know you guys are going to get it. P-A-R-S-L-E-Y. Parsley. Yes. That should be correct. Yeah. Parsley. And then what's the code? It doesn't say. I'm just. I don't know that code. All right. I don't pay attention. I just wanted to give you bonus points. So the correct spelling of the vegetable artichoke. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Paul's like, I'll take this one, Cass. <laughs> it should be A R T I C Joke. H O K E. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard when you like you're I just know. doing it right. Artichoke, mm-hmm. and I do not know. <laughs> Code for that. <laughs> Spit on her microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what is the correct spelling of this root vegetable potato? P O T A P O P O P O T A T O. 
Yeah. No E at the at the end? No, I can't remember. <laughs> it was remember Bush You're right. Jr. I think it was Bush Jr. And they and he didn't know how to spell potato. He oh, couldn't remember if there was gosh. an E at the end. Are you gonna mess with me like that? And potato is four oh six no. I was I gonna say four oh six two, but that's um forty twenty. I don't know. No, forty twenty is golden delicious apple. Oh yeah. <laughs> and four oh six two is cucumber. Yes. Uh, I don't remember potato because we didn't really sell a lot individual. They were there was always, always by bag, the bag. Yeah. Five or yeah. 10 pound bags. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. All and, right. The correct spelling of this vegetable popular around Halloween pumpkin Ooh. pumpkin P U M P K I N. Yes. This Halloween, I had to... I don't remember pumpkins either. I had to help out bring bring the whole load, like the big uh, cardboard container yeah. of it out. Mm. And since <laughs> in my store, we can't get it outside because the doors are too small right. and there's no way off the like loading oh, dock. Right. So we bring it to like next <gasps> no. to the door, load uh. them into carts and wheel them outside and then come back. Stop. Oh, it's, it's so annoying. We had to do like six in a day one time. It was horrible. They need a better plan for that. Yeah. Are you telling me there's no like double door Double doors in the back. Yeah. That you could turn off and. I don't think so. Come oh on. My God. You're going to have to let I us asked, know. But no, I don't think so. Wow. All right. And the- you don't have a dock door that has like a ramp for smaller trucks. Mm-mm. It just, it's the one dock and it like, it has a staircase, but it doesn't have. What oh, the So hell? either way, it's just extra work either way. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. The correct spelling of this green onion, scallion. S-C-A-L-L-I-O-N. Mm-hmm. And that's for, <laughs> you know what? It's been a couple of years. Okay. <laughs> it's been like four years, five years almost since I ran a no, it's been like eight years yeah. since I ran a <laughs> <Me> register. <too>. I <laughs> <laughs> was trying to remember. <laughs> the, All right, correct. Uh, oh, go ahead. The interesting thing about scallions is we don't call it that. We call green it onions. green onions. Yeah. yeah. So uh, people come in and it's like, do you have scallions? I'm like, yeah, you mean green onions? Like, I <laughs> think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's, what else uh, do they? Well, green onions, scallions, spring onions. Hmm. Is that different though? I feel like there's a there's two different ones. I know we have knob onions. They have the like. Yeah, I like the knob onions. Those are yeah, good. Sobelios or whatever in Spanish. I don't know. Anyways, just tomato. I don't know why it That's describes it. Tomato. T o m a t o. Correct. Correct. Um, tomato. Which one would you like? Four zero eight seven. That's Roma tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. It is, yes. I do remember that. 3151. Those are big tomatoes. Yes. That's all I remember. Yes. And as you're saying them, I'm remembering. I know. It's funny. Um, Endive. Mm E-N-D-I-V-E. Endive. I do not know the code for that one. That would be one that I would have to look up in the P-O-U. How about a shard? Shard. Swiss shard. Oh, yeah. C-H-A-R-D. Perfect. And I don't know the code for that one. Oh, I accidentally hit S-H-A-R-D. So it says wrong, but you guys what? have 100%. I just, I heard it and you... clicked it. I clicked it as he was doing it. I'm sorry. What? Uh, Yikama. J-I, J-I-M, Hick, no, J-I-C-A-M-I-C-A, Hickama. Yikama, J-I-C-A-M-A. I put an extra I in there. All the rest of these spellings have an H in the front. All right, how do you spell tarot? <laughs> He's like shit. Mm. It's just a, it's just a trick question. T a r r o. Only one R. No, <laughs> there's. N- is there a picture? According to zoo.com is there, a there is. I don't right believe that. It just looks like a brown root uh, vegetable. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised we don't carry that one. Hmm. hmm. All right. How do you spell broccoli? Cass, that's on you. It is only T A R O. I've been spelling it wrong my whole life. Broccoli. B R O B R O C C O L I. Yep. <laughs> you know what's funny is I'm reading this so I can look at all four of the like words and be like, yep, yeah, that's the one. But saying it out loud, like if I didn't know it's and, hard like, spell, to spell yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I thought this would be fun. I've never mm-hmm. been good at spelling <clears throat> Zucchini. 
Zucchini. Oh, I'm glad that one landed on you. <laughs> Z-U-C-C... H I N I. Yep, yep, yep. Really? Yep. I didn't know I had an H in it. Arugula. A R U G L A. You missed the U. Arugula. A R U G L. Oh, G U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L A. Arugula. Yeah, arugula. Arugula. Um. I don't know the code for that. It was cabbage in a cabbage plastic thingy. C A B. B A G E. Yeah. Chipotle. Cabbage was like four. I can't remember. Six, eight, eight, six. Sure. Chipotle. <sighs> Chip. C H I P O L A T. Switch. <laughs> Chip. Oatle. C H I P O L T. T L E. Wait. C H I P O Chip Ole Chip Alt. I can't spell it. <laughs> I can't. It doesn't look right in my head. It's not right. I don't know how to do it. Radish. Ooh. R A D I S H. Yep. I thought I had two D's. Nope. <laughs> rad dish. Nope. It's, it's just a rad radish dish. It's radish. <laughs> According to zoo.com. I have a really bad Fennel. speller. Who's next? Fennel. Fennel? F-E-N-N-E-L. Mm, I don't know how many. I'm sorry. That's bok okay. choy. Bok choy. B-O-K space. <laughs> C-H-O-Y. Yep. Yes. Raspberry. Rasp. R-A-S-P. <laughs> B-E-R-R. I E or Y? Is it I E or Y? It's Y. She. On this one, they have Raz, like Raz. Oh, like blue raspberry. Yep. Cilantro. Ooh. C I L C N A N T R O. How come I can spell your words so good? Brussels sprouts. B U R B U Brussels. Brussels sprouts. B. <laughs> I can't do this. B r u s s e l s p r o u t s. There's a space in between well, there. Well, what the hell ever. <laughs> Rutabaga. Oh, I'm glad you got that one. Let's see. Brussels sprouts was hard enough for me. <laughs> that was good. You did good. Let's see. Rutabaga. R u t a. Ruta bag. B A G A. Yep, yep, yep. There's no H in it? Nope. (laughs) Can't elope. Can't elope. Elope. C A N T A L O P E. Can't elope. Mr. U. C A N T L O U P E. Yep. Mm Can't elope. Nectarine. Nectarine. (coughs) N E C T A R. I N E. Oh, you're Jeez. good. You're good. And you were like, I'm not getting spelling. Asparagus. <laughs> Asparagus. A S P A R G U S. Asparagus. A S P A R A G U S. Yeah. I was close. I knew what you meant. Cauliflower. I don't cauliflower. know how many more. Cauliflower. C A L I F L O W E R. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You should just describe it and then see if we can guess what it is. What's the correct spelling of this fruit? That's all it says. Well, I... And then it says pomegranate. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> P-O-M. Pom. A. a yeah. G. No. E. Pommy. Pommy. P-O-M-E. P-O-M-E. G-R-A-N-I-T. A-T-E. A-T-E. You said pom... Pommy. Pommy granite. <laughs> oh, I did. Not grante. So- <laughs> <laughs> this one says aubergine. What's the correct spelling of this eggplant? Aubergine. Can't we do eggplant? <laughs> E-G-G-P-L-A-N-T. Done. Perfect. Yeah. Kumquat. Ew, Ooh, weird, what? Meredith. What? Weird. <laughs> uh, the next correct spelling of a fruit. <laughs> Hmm. I think it starts with a K. Definitely so. starts with a K. K A U M Q 
Q-U-A-T. Yeah. Q-U-A-T. That's a tough yeah. one. I wouldn't, wasn't going to let you do anything. We don't sell that Keep one. Keep working on that one. Um, how about a correct spelling of a leafy purple vegetable? Uh, radicchio. Yep. Wow. Mm. My gosh, you are so good. How did you know that? I don't, because I hate it. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I was like, sure it's not in my lettuce Radicchio. Mix. Yeah. Um, R-A-D... I C C H O or something like that. Yeah, yeah. There are like five thousand more. We are Stop. done. <laughs> we are done. I think. Good we job. Yeah. Amazing. We kind of know how to spell. Amazing. I should say I kind of know how to spell. You did very well, Paul. So I was looking up facts on retail, really, like mm-hmm. retail industry statistics. That's hard to say. Statistics. Can you say that? Statistics? Yeah, that's good. Statistically. So some of this is back from 2020, 2021. So we know that oh. everything's been ramped up. Okay. So mm-hmm. I just want to share a, just a few things. Okay. Mm-hmm. So first of all, there are over 39,000 supermarkets. Yeah. Okay. I believe Does that, that sound right? This is sure. from Zipia.com. And then I also just kind of did my own research. Yeah. I like, kind of combined the two. Yeah. But it's from Zipia.com. The annual sales for the food retail industry hit an estimated... Eight hundred and sixty-five billion dollars. I was gonna be like eight billion. <laughs> eight hundred and sixty-five Jesus. billion dollars. That's, that's a almost, lot of food. That's almost mm-hmm. a trillion dollars. Yeah, which we probably this was in 2020. Some of some of the stuff is 2020, 2021. So we I'm a sure trillion dollars. I'm sure we are we are there. We are and there. they're like, we can't pay you a living wage. <laughs> food retail industry <laughs> sales have more than tripled since nineteen ninety-two, amounting sure. in six point two trillion dollars. Mm-hmm. Yep. I believe it. Um, so if you go shopping, think about shopping. Now, I already mentioned that I was almost $400. It was like $350 for the month I went shopping on Monday, mm-hmm. right? So I'm just going to do the math times that by 12. But I also make my trips to, right. you know, like local, just, you know, whatever, for a Friday night cookout right. or anything like that. So when you go shopping, think about when you go shopping, if it's just for you mm-hmm. or you and Cheyenne or whatever, how much are you spending on a trip? Um, hmm. Do you guys cook a lot? Not really. No, no, they probably go out. But I'm just, I'm just like, just picture that. Like, yeah, if you were to shop for a whole month, a, yeah, a whole month. Or, <laughs> let's go a whole week. Let's go a whole week. How much do you think? And it you would need be? toilet paper. Hmm. <laughs> that shit's expensive. <laughs> I think I normally, well, I buy myself food for a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. Um, so it's, uh, and then occasionally I buy stuff for myself, which is like maybe fifteen dollars after work, and like, yeah. Yeah. During work is maybe like ten dollars. Oh wow. Okay. Maybe that's like every eight. day times five. Yeah. Um. So I would say like fifty bucks, plus maybe fifteen or thirty. So like yeah. say eighty bucks a week. Let's yeah. Say. Probably yeah. yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And how about you? So I know that where I shop, we have a rewards program, and you have to spend a certain amount every thirty days in order to get. A reward. Oh. And that yeah. set amount is five hundred dollars a month and we always hit it. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. We always hit it. We always get that ten dollar reward. Yeah. Okay. So this says the average American spends fifty four dollars a week, <laughs> which is two hundred and thirty three dollars a month on groceries. <laughs> Now is that it says the average American? So is that okay, one but, person? Can you should we times that by two if yeah. we're shopping for more or so, we're shopping for a family of four? I'm gonna five, say yeah. or so little, then you go 120, and, and then you go 240 and, a week, 200, mm-hmm. basically 250 bucks a week if you have a family with two kids. Yeah, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. if one isn't a teenager that is yeah. literally eating you out of house and home. Exactly, and it's a lot of toilet paper too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. It's I crazy. definitely spend more than $54 a week. Yes. Who do you think is the largest food retail industry in the U.S.? The largest food retail industry? They accounted industry. for 39% of the total industry sales. If you think of all those chains, who's number one? All the chains? Probably roundies. <laughs> what do you think? Um, like like a specific store chain? like Yeah. Like Walmart? Walmart. That's Walmart it is. Thinking, is yeah. it Walmart? Yep. Walmart it is. They're the biggest. Ugh. See, I wouldn't oh think that because I don't go to Walmart. I'm sorry. I'm very Excuse you better your, out my mouth than my Vizies. butt. <laughs> we always get, um, my mom always does the online order, so we don't mm, have yeah. to go in. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, and yeah. see people in their pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you think about states, 
Mm -hmm. Think of all the states. Yes. Um, The largest number of grocery stores in one state, which one do you think it is? California. Yep. Mm. Oh, it's California? It is California. I was going to say Texas. Oh, I was going to say Texas as well. That's a good one, too. (laughs) They have 1,700 stores. I believe it. Yeah. I wonder how many Illinois has. Yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like there's Mm -hmm. a lot in Illinois, too. Probably a lot in the Midwest. Like, yeah, yeah, just it's like stores and like cornfields and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> cornfield store, cornfield yeah. store, cornfield store. <laughs> Casey's cornfield yeah. store. What's the one that's over here? Yeah, Casey's, Casey's right? Yeah, cornfield store. Casey's every once in a while, like a, a farm and fleet, a or Chipotle fleet and farm, a Chipotle. Yeah. yeah, Chipotle, <laughs> and Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, lots of Starbucks there everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, so. This was also in 2020, so there's probably so much more innovation that happened in the past two years. But if you think of the average grocery store, about how many items do you think that grocery store carries? Just think about it. Go by the aisles, maybe. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 5,000. Okay. Now, when they say carries items, I'm guessing they're counting SKUs. So think right. about like how many. I wouldn't say that's how many things they have on the shelf. I'm saying that's how many different items they have. Okay, what do you think? <clears throat> I was trying to think of like figuring out the number of items we get in like a load on a you know on a certain day. Yeah, so right. Maybe like, I mean, grocery gets a lot of stuff. Maybe like ten thousand or something. Forty thousand. Oh, shut up. Yeah, well, I guess our store is a lot smaller too. Your store, so. yeah, is it a lot is. It is. So than I, like yes. where we used to work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ours is a lot bigger. I would. Think, How much? Forty thousand. That's insane. Yeah. Insane. But you think about all the little makeups. Yep. Yeah. All the technology, yep. like little. <clears throat> yeah. Now they say groceries. average grocery store. Is that just groceries? Because that's a lot of food. That's a lot. Right. Yeah. A lot of food. Mm-hmm. But if you think about it, yeah, you know, think of all those meos. Or like crystal yes. lights, or there's so or coffee. Yeah, there's like an aisle just for coffee yeah. or all the paper it's products, noodles, <laughs> cleaning, tomato noodles, sauce. soups. Like think Jesus. about it, forty thousand. Yeah, candy. Oh my gosh, so much candy. Think of the can- like the the registers, oh, all of yeah. those too. All the right? toilet paper. Yeah, <laughs> all the frozen items, oh all God. those different burritos that you can get. They got like a burrito four foot section. Yeah, you know, everybody eats burritos. So, mm. so when they talk about gross pro- profit margin. I thought like, 5,000 was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just still thinking about that. Okay, I'm sorry. So, you know, gross profit is like after everything, right? So mm-hmm. it's, it's- It's your take it's, home. It's your take home. It's after right? taxes. It's after you pay the employees. It's it's, it's, it's packaging that you're paying. It's after it's you everything. pay all your fines. Think of everything. <laughs> what percentage do you think grocery stores make after all of that said and done? 30%. I'll go with the same. 2%. Shut up. <laughs> and they're still buying yachts and shit? What the hell? The ima- that's the amount of the money they get like after taxing and paying and stuff? The, the average is about huh. 2.2 2 cents per gro- grocery item sold. Grocery, now we're just talking grocery items. 2%. Hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm open know. Up grocery stores. Y'all are you're you're getting to open your Google and you're gonna see if this is true or not. I'm telling you, go to. I Zipia. won't have to. Google will just pop it up. Yeah, for it me. will. All of a sudden, you're gonna see all the stuff on grocery. Okay, because guess what? Mm-hmm. Was it last week we talked about pots and pans? Yep. 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 yep what do yep. you think the first thing I saw on Facebook was? I know. Yeah. And you know what? You know what's happening for me now when I'm on TikTok, Facebook, everything. It's where I work. It's all the influencers and commercials. Yep. It's everywhere. We were just laughing about that with someone from marketing that it's the only thing I see from where I work is like people happen to be shopping there. Oh, no. Mine is all advertisements and people that are getting paid and they all have their own codes and stuff like that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. One more. One more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, So think about all. Well, because now this might change. This is from 2020. Now we've lost a few people. People don't work. We know we're going through a weird thing right now, but we'll just go with this. Um, As of 2021, the U.S. food retail industry employed how many workers? All those part-time people that they don't pay benefits for? Yeah. I'm going to say a number. I'll, I'll say how many people do we have in the United States? 300 million. I think. Okay. Something like that. So I'm going to say, I'll say a hundred million. Hmm. 150 million. I'm going to say that it says they employ 2.8. 
1.89 million workers. Ooh, I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't be 150. That would be like half. And it says, and however, half yeah, right. work there, you know. <laughs> this work comes with high turnover and low job growth. So the common age for food retail employees is between 16 and 24. And many of these young employees leave their jobs to pursue other things. Lies. Yeah. So unlike me, because I'm far from 24 and I'm still in retail. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, w- I was wondering. Interesting. You're not in retail. You're corporate. Oh, will you stop with we that? We have to vacuum the sidewalks <laughs> when you say you're coming. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hurry up. Get all the cobwebs down. Stop Corporate's it. coming. I was wondering for like, um, I guess if it's for everywhere, but <coughs> when uh, like a new person is just going to quit, do they do a no call, no show for pretty much Hell everywhere? Hell yeah. Definitely. Just don't come in. Just Hell don't come yeah. in. Hell yeah. That's pretty much how everyone has been. Yep. That's how everyone yeah. does it now. Mm-hmm. I've Why? never done that. Never. I have yeah. never, never done that because no. I've had only like four jobs. Mm-hmm. It's always been two weeks. Some actually the one job that I, I left fired, but the one job that I left, my insurance wasn't going to start at another job for four weeks. They let me stay and work Saturdays so that I could keep the insurance oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. at the old job. And they were, they were fine with it. I didn't tell the new job because yeah. I had to keep the insurance. There was yeah. no way my luck and my family's luck. Yeah. The two weeks I didn't have insurance, something would have happened. Someone you know? would have broken yeah. a leg or yeah, something. Yeah, someone would have done something, you know, <laughs> fell down the stairs. You know, we don't know. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. so I'm going to end with a cute story. Ooh, right. I, know. I love cute yeah. stories. If he listens, he'll be mad that I told it. But Uh-oh. um, So I celebrating one year at my new job yesterday. So I was reflecting on all the times that I did leave. And so I was at our job for like seven years or so. I was at the other job for four years. I'm just celebrating one year. Fun fact. I leave in February on every job. (laughs) I get hired. Do you? Yeah. I I get hired in like September. And then the past couple of times I, got the jobs in February and then left them in February, but really, yeah, I'm, I'm still hanging out here. So February is a very depressing month. We were just talking about that. Me and Drew were talking about that. It just is. I think it's just good for change, you know, but anyways, so at the job that we worked at, um, I was leaving and I would like to say that people were kind of sad that I was leaving. I like was it sad. was a long, like four weeks I was sad, of staying but like, there, I five knew weeks. Yeah. We would keep once I touch, knew I was so, going. Yeah. yeah. Once I knew I was leaving, everyone would like have their moments with me yeah. and like thank me. And, you know, and then of course some of someone wanted my job. So it was like, tell me all about your job so I can work <laughs> can your you job, me, please? <laughs> you know? And, um, out of nowhere, this, this uh, person that works in produce mm-hmm. came up and he said, my mom's birthday is this weekend. And I want to know, like, I want to know what to bake her. I said, well, come on, let's go over to the aisle, the baking aisle, and we'll uh, we'll take a look. So I said, you cannot go wrong with these brownies. It was like Ghirardelli or something, right? <laughs> Probably the most expensive at I the time those. box of Ghirardelli brownies. It's like I a said, dollar box I'm of fairly brownies. certain every mom, they would love them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Friday was my last day. Oh. He cooked me the ones that I picked. Isn't that great? Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> and that was like my, uh, oh, I was telling so Brianna, I was going to tell this story. I'm like, I'm going to cry. Oh my God. It's that's the so sweet. best story I have for leaving a job. How like, thoughtful. Ever, totally appreciated all the, like the cards and the thank yous and hugs. That one I will never forget. Ever. I was like, see a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So people in produce, they're very sweet. They're very, very sweet. So, and so are you, Paul. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming back and hanging out. I know this was great. I'm so glad that you had a fairly good year and still hanging out there. And Mm -hmm. yeah, so happy for you. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts um, at work. So, yeah. you know, nice. I've been listening to you guys. I've been listening to like a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, it's always, it's nice to have like, you know, did you listen to yours again? From I, last year? I listened to it. Uh, it was a few weeks, I think, after it got recorded, just because yeah. I was nervous to hear my own voice. But. It's not so bad. Now you he's a pro. He walked in. It. He's like, I'm ready. I got yeah. some stories. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, well, yeah. we're so happy that you came back on. Thanks for visiting us. Yeah, thank course, you. Yeah. Now he's on the tube, too. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> we didn't forget about you over there. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. Yeah. Have thanks. a good night. Happy Friday. Yeah. Happy Friday. We'll talk to you Spring next week. Spring is coming. <laughs> My favorite. Bye. 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 This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. 
Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun. 